Hi Capricorn, Narayah here. Good morning to you. I hope you all are well. That's going to keep writing up, but whatever. Um, we are going to do a reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. Spirit, please tell me what messages you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. So I hope you guys are amazing. Thank you for liking my video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel if you choose to. Hopefully this music is soothing. And if no one has told you, you're amazing. And if you're dealing with some difficult things, you're doing awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't know what type of reading this is. I I didn't know whether to ask questions like what's coming for Capricorn, what good should Capricorn be looking out for, kind of the same thing. Um, we're going to see where this goes. But I do feel like the warning video I did the other day um, had done pretty decently. If you haven't watched the quickie video, I have a quickie video that I posted yesterday um it is with earth signs so first is capricorn then virgo and then taurus i think i'm going to continually do it that like that because when i post so many videos after posting so many youtube doesn't notify people so spirit let's see what's in the cards for capricorn please know to take what fits and leave the rest as this is not a personal reading Please and thank you. So I have a page of cups. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is somebody, when it comes to feelings, they may not be the breast, the, the breast, the, the best at expressing the feelings. This could be somebody emotionally immature. Um, it could be a younger person, it doesn't really have to be, um, but it could have been somebody younger or younger acting or didn't act their age that you may have moved away from because you chose to go to calmer waters. Oh no. I, okay, this is what I'm getting. I'm feeling there may be somebody coming in your energy. Also, two different stories that could have moved away from somebody and moved on to, uh, because of their immaturity um, and moved on to calmer waters and they could be coming towards you. And the only reason I say that with this particular deck is because instead of going away, it's like coming towards. So I feel like for this, they could be coming towards you. But I feel like there's something. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was just going to say, I feel like there's something intuitive that this person is dealing with just because I'm seeing the birds. But I feel like somebody dealt with some immaturity or didn't like how things handled or were handled when it came to emotions or a relationship. And so they're moving away from somebody, but what they don't realize is they are moving towards you. And if this is reverse, then you are moving away from somebody because of a lack of maturity in a relationship or a situation, and you are moving towards someone else because you're actually listening to your intuition and you're moving towards your 10 of cups. I couldn't have made this up if I wanted to. You're moving towards your 10 of cups. I think I, I just saw this. I think right now a lot of you are in that 10 of pentacles energy. I know they can't, the 10, the queen of pentacles energy. The queen of pentacles is the card where I say, when I'm doing my readings, especially for this deck and another one, match my energy. 
this is the you guys are in that mode where kind of like match my energy or just leave me alone because Capricorn doesn't have time to be wasting anymore Queen of Pentacles is somebody that's handling her his or her business this is a person that has priorities Ooh, that got away one moment The Queen of Pentacles could be a parent. If it is, they're still handling their, their business. And actually, for the Queen of Pentacles energy, I feel that if you are a parent, the match your energy is even more important because you have kids. And you can't risk having just anybody around your kids for multiple reasons. You don't want them to get attached to somebody that's not going to be around. You don't want them around just anybody because everybody just can't be trusted. And you are thinking of their safety and their well-being as well as your own. But I have the Page of Wands and with the Page of Wands, this could actually be a younger person. <laughs> but what it makes me think is that this person if they're not younger, they can they can be youthful. They can be very youthful and have a passion for life that maybe Capricorn needs. I think a lot of times when Capricorn is really focused on work and priorities, sometimes we kind of get stuck in that to where people think we're too serious. But it's because we're focused. But I feel that you're going to have somebody to come into your energy that's going to kind of bring that youthfulness out of you and make you want to do things that are fun. Um, I had somebody, example, because I have somebody in my life now, we're not together, there's not a relationship, but he asked me the other day, and he, this is not how he was before, he had never would have asked me anything like this, but he asked me the other, the other day, would I like to go zip lining? And I was like, excuse me? And he said, don't worry, I'm gonna make plans for us to go uh, zip lining. So I'm apparently gonna go zip lining one day, I don't know. <laughs> but this is gonna be a person that gets you out the house and has you doing things. And I feel like for some of you, this person could, for some of you, you're going to like how this person is with your kids because they're going to be playing catch with the kids. They're not going to mind the rowdiness. Sometimes people date people and they expect when they're around for the kids not to act like kids, but that's why they're kids and children. They're going to scream and, and have fun and play. I think this is good. And for somebody to get you guys out of your shell, for those of you that are in a shell right now, that would be amazing. So I have the Seven of Swords. This is somebody trying to get away with something. For some of you, just know everybody you meet is not a potential partner. You have to be mindful and take your time and actually watch a person's actions, not just listen to their words. That's just a warning. I feel like for some of you, you have somebody in your energy now that's trying to get away with something. I don't think this is the new person for everyone. And then I have the Five of Swords. Yeah, these are two no-so-good cards. You have somebody in your energy being dishonest. excuse me I think some of you know exactly who I'm talking about because with this card being like this I feel like you kind I don't know why what this card makes me think a person is in their head I feel like you've kind of wondered if you could trust somebody because you felt some things I think this is confirmation that the person is trying to get away with something and they're not to be trusted oof yep because I have a tower there's a tower moment. 
coming. So for this, what it's telling me is that for some of you, there's a tower moment coming with somebody that you're probably dealing with already where you're not getting the best feeling or you're feeling like maybe you can't trust or believe this person. Pull back your energy. Pull back your energy. Um, but this is also about you guys being mindful of how much money you spend because there may be something that comes up where you're going to need the extra money and you may not have it if you're spending frivolously. Some of you guys have too much stuff. You see the stuff in the background? You're buying all these things that are still in packages. Yes, I'm calling you out. You're buying all these things that are still in packages that you're not even using because you just have this thing where you have to buy stuff. If you're an emotional shopper and you're buying things that you're not even using, I'm going to need you to put that credit card back in that damn pocket or pocketbook, ma'am and sir, and go exercise or go cook you some food. Cook some whole foods. I've been cooking whole foods, eating less processed foods. The only processed food that I eat now is um, non-dairy creamer for my milk or my, my milk for my coffee and um, vegan cheese and almond milk, That's th those are it. Other than that, everything I eat is fresh and I've been feeling better. Ooh. <gasps> I can't even y'all, I can't. Okay, let's do this. So nobody thinks I'm making stuff up. You see that? I'm going to read this card. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you pull your energy back from somebody that you feel like you cannot trust. And you can actually avoid a tower moment with that person or create one by doing that. You can move on to that. This is just confirmation. You can move on. You, excuse me. You can avoid the heartbreak. You can avoid the heartbreak. I don't know why this, this just came to me like this. Give me one moment. Oh, cappies. Okay. Look at my setup. Okay, you can see the cards. Excuse those things back there. So, the Six of Pentacles, an equal give and take. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is an equal give and take. It's somebody that's going to be giving to you. And so I'm picking up these cards, okay? So it's some, I just did that so you could see that those were the cards that popped up there. And there's nothing else there. So you can move towards this. And be so, so happy. And when you move, when you move away from this person, you're going to find joy. You're going to, you're going to see for some of you how this person was depleting you. Um, and you're going to get that energy back. And for some of you, you were dealing with somebody that was really kind of killing your zest for life and your spirit is kind of what I feel. But this is you guys actually being happy. And the reason that you're happy is because you're happy by yourself. But what adds to that happiness and positivity and that good mental mind space and the joy for life is that you end up meeting somebody else that is in the same boat where they've been through things. This is a two of cups. This is an equal give and take. This is a partnership. This is two people mutually attracted to each other. For some of you, it can be a really strong physical attraction. That might be, I feel like for guys, a lot of times it's the physical attraction first. 
but I feel that there's going to be some sort of connection or something that draws you to this person. And for some of you, it may be somebody that doesn't even look like the type of person that you would normally date, but it's going to be something about them. I feel like the way that you guys get along is like you're going to kind of compliment each other where this person may be very, very different from the type that you normally date as far as how they handle things. Emotional maturity just popped into my mind. Getting along really well popped into my mind. No doubt popped into my mind. Like, there's not going to be any doubt that this person cares about you. They're not going to question and doubt whether or not you care for them. Oh, Cappies. So that is what I have. Do I really want to pull anything else? We had already seen this one. So this can be avoided. Reminder. If you move away from this person that you already feel like might be trying to get away from some, some uh, with something or the person that you feel like you probably shouldn't be trusting, don't because there will be a tower moment. You can prevent that from pulling your energy back. And you'll also be preventing this, the three of swords. Oh my God, Capricorn, love is coming. <laughs> this is so wonderful. So we have the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups. How amazing is that? Well, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I love you guys. And also wanna point out, again, I have my quickie videos. Yesterday was posted for Earth Signs and Air Signs. Today I'm going to post for Water Signs and Fire Signs. But mind you, the three elements are going to be on one video. So all three water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer, will be on one video. And then for the fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, that will be on another video. So please check those out. And until next time, I love you. All right. Bye.